This is a walkthrough of Trek on the Mantis in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So if you look at the map, uh, this is right after doing the forest array. It wants us to go through here, but it's blocked, but then also shows this path over here. So we're going to go this way. Let me show you again on the map. Make sure you're clear on this. Okay, like that. So we're going to head over here, and in order to do this, we're going to have to wall run on this, and then double jump up here and wall run on this, and then grab onto that, and then climb up to here, and then go over to the right. Is real. And it may be the last corner of this galaxy that's safe from the Empire. I wish you could have seen it too, BD. Okay, I'm not sure if that's exactly how I was supposed to do that, but either way, we're committed to this now. Okay, so it was where we needed to go, it looks like, so that's good. So we're going to go through this cave, I assume. Alright, and so this is going to be where you get taming. So I'm going to show you how to get a mount in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. So this is on the Check on the Mantis story, uh, mission, whatever. Right after the forest array. And you'll be forced to do this, so. Pretty straightforward though. Just interact with Taman. You know your way around Kobe, And then after that, you? that's when you get the first tame. So now you can ride on the Neko mounts. Uh and there's like some stuff here. You can see the um controls down here. So mount jump is A and then A to jump off of them, and then RB to mount or whatever buttons is going to be for whatever controller setup you have. Okay, so you can jump and then jump again to get off of them or go over to them and uh, actually it's not RB to mount so it's going to be the stick to mount but it just depends on what setup you have. Also jump off again and it said you know you can hit in my case RB and we'll make him come over to me but it's going to be dependent on whatever system that you have. So after we have this guy Okay, so it wants us to go over this way. So, um, oh, it wants to go up the water. Okay, so this guy can just go up the water, I assume. Yeah, okay, he can just walk up the water. Um, let's see if it wants us to go this way or the other way. No, it wants to go the other way. There's probably something back there. You want to go check it out, but I'm not going to do that in this guide. All right, so now we're going to run back down this water. And then let's take a look real fast. The map, make sure we're going the right one. All right, so now we can go up here with the mount. We can jump on this and then jump over there. And then let's take a look at where it wants us to go. Going two different paths, so. It wants us to go up here, I assume. So that's what order is going to be on the right, but it's going to want us to double jump to something, so. Come on. All right, there we go. I assume that's what it wanted me to do. Take a look at the map. And then we drop to the other side, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then open, yeah. Okay, so we have to do that to get to the other side to open. Basically just like walking through how to use a mount. Alright, so now we can head up here. And now we're at Bygone Settlement. So let's take a look at the map now. It wants us to go up and to the left. You know, one thing is this go. mount is surprisingly slow. I feel like I almost run this fast on foot. Maybe faster actually. Right, before we continue, we're going to look at the map, make sure we're not going the wrong way, because we might be. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not this way. Over this way. Alright, let's stop and look again, because it gave me a broad area it was showing. Alright, we're good. We go over this way. Um, There's something up there. I'm going to grab it so you can see what it is. Okay, that's actually a meditation spot. Highly recommend grabbing that. Always good to grab the meditation spots. Alright, so now we're just going to continue. I'm going to try all the buttons to make sure I'm not missing something with the mount that we can do. Looks like the Mantis is back in action. Come on, BD. Let's meet him at the landing pad. Okay. So we're just going to run over to there now, where the ship just landed. You 
got it. Alright, so once we get over here, looks like we're going to have to come in from the left. But let's take a look at the map real fast. Alright, looks like we just go to the other side, maybe? Okay, let's take a look at the other side. And uh, over here is somebody, so we're going to go over to this person. I might have to dismount. I'm going to double jump off of that. Oh, okay, I just landed right back on him. <laughs> Alright, this must be uh, what we need to do. That's a weird interaction spot. That did not want to work. All right, that, that was it. Looking good as new. I'm going to skip the cutscene. Save you time. All right, so welcome back to the outpost. Don't forget to visit Domas, any rare minerals you found, with any rare, with any rare minerals you found, and plant seeds in the rooftop garden. Meet new, more, more new residents who can help improve the outpost. Z shop in the upper floor of Pyloon's saloon is now accessible. High Republic data disks can be found across the galaxy can be spent there. Okay. Garden on the saloon rooftop is now accessible. Seeds collected across the whatever can be planted there. All right. Good to know. All right. So is that the end of that mission? No, not quite yet. Oh, that is the... Okay, that's the end of the mission. All right. Objective complete. Check on the Mantis. All right. So there you go, guys. If you need help with the check on the Mantis main objective in Star Wars Jedi Survivor, now you know how to do it.